Assalamu alaikum my viewers, listeners and students. Let's study about the constipation which is another types of uh, intestinal disorder and how we can define. So I have written some notes for you in the whiteboard so that uh, it might be uh, visually easier for you to recognize the symptoms, the cause and the preventions of the managements and uh, the definitions of constipations. Uh, I am uploading this series of videos uh, because it's uh, in the syllabus. So students of uh, English versions and Carrot College uh, from wherever in the world is watching this tutorial, you know that I am following a specific pathway. So in my previous videos, I have uploaded the series of uh, disorders like dysentery, uh, uh, diarrhea, uh, gastric and peptic ulcers, and previously anemia. So right now is about the constipation. So what is the definition of constipation? So the constipation is the condition when stool becomes hard and, uh, and uh, does not pass us for two or more days per week. So two to, two to three days or more days per week. So if this condition is that, that stool becomes so hard and it's become so painful for a passing way, that condition is uh, constipation. And this is so, so if it's getting so severe cases, then something fatal can be done. But why? We need to know why this constipation happens and what is the reason behind that. So behind that the reason is, the common cause is the first cause that we can say that less fiber intake in diet. If somebody is having more meats and meats and more proteins but no veg, no fiber, then he or she might develop. Uh, the constipations. So first reason or the first cause of uh, constipation is the low fiber diet. Number two is that if somebody is uh, it's like withholding the bowel pressure for a long time and if it's like uh, somebody's habit uh, basically it might be for the children or the kids those who with withholding these bowel pressures might be another cause for constipation. Leading lazy life it's um, something like, you know, that whatever you heard about the intestinal disorders or any other disease, physical exercise is the key factors for leading a good and healthy life. So that is why if somebody is, is leading a lazy life, he or she might have some probability to, to develop the constipations. Excessive water absorptions in the colon when the foods is passing through. So if colon it absorbs much water in the in the colon movement then what happened that the that the residue of the food particles after digestion becomes so hard and it's also becoming so hard for a person for passing through so excessive water absorptions from the undigested food particles in the colon is another cause of constipation Slowing down the contraction of colonic muscle. You know that colons, colonic muscle, there is a movement of passing through it from the small intestine to large intestine to rectum and then and the anus. So in this movement, if the colonic muscle's contractions is not much, then the, the constipation may develop. And then another reason might be the travel or any other changes in the routine. Suppose a body, somebody is uh, habituated with a regular lifestyle and then sometimes travels and some changes in the routine makes uh, and the travel seven case of uh, bowel passing and that is another cause of uh, constipation. So you see the common cause of constipation like number one, low fiber diet, number two, withholding bowel pressure, number three, leading lazy life, Number four, excessive water absorption from undigested part of food in colon. Five is slowing down the contractions of colonic muscle. And last is the travel or other changes in routine or daily life. So we know the definition of constipation and the common cause of it. Now we think about what are the symptoms. So as we know already that is like the stool becoming so hard and it's become painful for passing it is the main symptom of the constipation so right now we can say that fewer than three times bowel movement per week is another uh, the symptoms of 
the constipation, passing hard and dry stool, pain during the bowel movements, feeling of fullness after bowel passing. I mean, after using the toilet, somebody will definitely might feeling like again fullness. It's not becoming clean or not becoming empty. So that feeling of fullness is another symptom of uh, the constipation. Experiencing the rectal blockage. This is the case of severe cases. But uh, wherever uh, somebody is feeling the constipation, what should be the management? So definitely the management is, is very important and it's in this case when constipation happens it's not necessary to go to the hospitals or to, to seek for the doctor's help immediately uh, but uh, it can be done in a home care if somebody is definitely cared to their own life. So I think fibrous, fibrous food uh, is a uh, main issue in case of like um, having vegetables and fruits and those foods are with uh, fiber so the fi this fibrous food can be another management of constipations number two is enough a very vital habit that's drinking enough water as i'm saying enough it doesn't mean that two to three liters or four to five liters depends on a person's activity so have i mean water intake of a in general people or an athlete would not be same because athletes those who are working hard or those people are doing really hard work in their day-to-day -day life they require much water or uh, and usually the people in in the summer area and in in the hot humid area they requires more water but in case of a cold environment when the self evaporation is not going in that case water intake is comparatively less so third is vegetables we need to take vegetables good vegetables every day number four we can have fruits like apples bananas coconuts dates orange papaya pineapples teas and etc so these fruits will help us because these all are fibrous foods these fruits will help us to make a swelling and to to make softer and um, as stool will be much more smoother and then constipation will be gone off. Number five is regular exercises, another, another good points of a living a healthy life. And number six is very important, having a passing regular stool. I mean, it's, up, it's upon someone's day-to-day -day life habit, like um, after, after like in, in the morning, if somebody is wake up in the morning and having uh, one liter of water per day, just after uh, brushing again, I hope that the stool uh, passing would be regular and somebody, if take care of their own health with regular exercise, good food habits, and some sort of very commonly known lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, uh, intake of water, enough water per day, veg and fruits, and avoiding proteins, maximum proteins, but definitely protein should be, but avoid excessive intake of protein. So that healthy lifestyle um, is the key factor for living a good life. So I hope you know what are the common causes, the definitions, symptoms, and management of uh, the, the intestinal disorders, constipation. So this is all about constipations in short frame, but you might feel the necessity of having more knowledge. So Google is allowed to you, so you can use it. And of course, do write me in the comment sections that what is your um, feedback and how do you feel in this uh, tutorial. And of course, do let me know your recommendations. So this is all about constipations. I'm coming up with the next disorders. Thank you so very much. Stay well.